Welcome back to another reading of George Orwell's 1984. We are in part three, beginning chapter two, which we'll probably read in two sections. It's a very long chapter. But as we discovered in chapter one of part three, Winston Smith has been arrested and placed in jail. And he's had a chance to sit and reflect on things. He's in pain. He's hungry. We know that several times we're told he's very hungry, hasn't eaten in a long time. No way of knowing what time of day it is. No windows. No idea. No idea really what's going to happen to him, except he's assuming he's going to be killed one way or the other. And he's obviously afraid of torture. He keeps hearing about this dreaded room 101. And anybody who's hauled off to this room is terrified, especially those who are returning to room 101. It's obviously a place of intense torture. And Winston wonders, of course, that he's going to be going there too. At the very end of the chat, we discover that it wasn't just the antique dealer, Mr. Charrington, who was responsible for Winston's demise, it was O'Brien, who is not working for the Brotherhood, but in fact, Big Brother. So without further ado, let us begin chapter two, George Orwell's 1984. Hi, Hi this is David Creighton from Creighton's Right and Stand on Guard. Join the resistance, resolve to resist. Become a member of this station. I've been practicing journalism in one form or another for over 30 years. I've worked in print, radio, and television for a lot of prestigious publications and media outlets. I was an Armed Forces Public Affairs Officer. I worked in Parliament Hill. I know how Ottawa works, and I know how corrupt the federal government can be. But you can play a part in opposing Justin Trudeau's government and Justin Trudeau's plans for Canada. You can become a part of the Creighton's Right Resistance. Now, I urge you today, please support this station in any way you can. Ring that bell, subscribe, because that ensures you're at least going to continue to be able to watch these episodes. You'll beat the algorithm. But more importantly, I need your financial support. I hate to ask, but that's what I'm doing. I made a decision to pursue independent media because I believed it was the best possible route for me to take as a journalist and as a concerned citizen of Canada. So you can become a part of that. And at only $5, you can become a part of that on YouTube, on Substack, and with Buy Me a Copy, a one-time donation. But I need your support. And from the bottom of my heart, I thank you. If you've already done that, if you're already supporting the station, thank you. But if you haven't, 